Hi all. This is part 4 of module 1. And today I will give an introduction to quantum wells, then quantum wires and quantum dots. Okay, in the previous class, we have discussed about a various characteristic lengths in mesoscopic system like a screening length, then diffusion length, mean free path, uh, localization length, etc. And uh, most of these characteristic lengths they are within 100 nanometer range we have also seen that when the size of the material is reduced to less than 100 nanometer the very basic properties uh, that is electrical mechanical physical these properties of the material is going to change and in another way we can say uh, when the dimension of material is reduced to less than or equal to the characteristic length that is in nanometer range the material's properties including physical chemical and electrical properties they are going to change then the particles here the electrons they will have wave like characteristics and here the quantum mechanics should be used to express their characteristics and please note in low dimensional structures the classical physics laws they cannot define the normal characteristics of this nano materials it's very important okay now consider a semiconductor sheet with dimensions lx ly and lz across the axis x y and z respectively and take the basic characteristic length of the material as lambda and if the dimensions lx ly and lz are consider it is much greater than characteristic length then check the figure here the electrons are free to move across x y and z axis the movement of electron is not confined or it is restricted and it is free to move across all the axis this is the case of a regular 3d structures 3d bulk semiconductors that is uh, the normal case there is all the dimensions across x y and z axis are greater than 100 nanometer or greater than the basic characteristic length okay now consider uh, the dimension across x axis is limited within the characteristic length characteristic length is greater than lx dimension across other two axis are not restricted okay means the electron movement is confined across the x axis and at the same time electron is free to move across other two axes or through two dimensions this is 2d semiconductor structure it is also known as quantum well the next case uh, here the dimensions across x y axis are x and y axis are restricted within 100 nanometer or within the characteristic length lambda at the same time the electron is free to move across the z axis or z plane length across z axis is that is l z is much greater than l x and l y we can say the electron movement is restricted across x and y plane and at the same time it is free to move across z plane or one dimension and this corresponds to a one dimensional semiconductor or quantum wire now the last case here the electron movement is restricted along all the axes that is dimensions across x y and z axis are restricted within 100 nanometer or within the characteristic length lambda and check the figure here the electron movement is confined or restricted along all the axes this is zero dimension semiconductor or zero d semiconductor it is also known as quantum dot in general we can say that if you take a semiconductor material and restrict at least one of its dimensions that is lx ly or lz i mean if it is smaller than the characteristic length or within 100 nanometer that structure is called nano material and it can be 2d 1d or 0d according to its dimensions across x y and z axis okay these quantum wells and uh, quantum dots they are used for manufacturing quantum lasers and quantum leds and we will discuss more about this quantum wells 
in the last three modules. Okay, then the expected university question from this session is, uh, write short note about the classification of nanostructures according to their dimensionality. Okay, in the coming session, uh, we can discuss about density of states and uh, density of states in 2D, 1D and 0D structures. Thank you.